This initiative started out of a class on American slavery, and we looked at slavery in part through the lens of what was happening in Cumberland County, in Carlisle, and at Dickinson. The last three years, we've been looking at uh, this complicated story, and today we've created wayside markers on campus and a way to commemorate that story uh, for students, faculty, and visitors. During the 2018-2019 academic year, the House Divided Project at Dickinson launched an initiative designed to help get the community talking about the history of our college's ties to slavery and anti-slavery. The responses were sobering and inspiring at the same time. We collected numerous comments in person, online, and by mail. Many stood out, but one observation captures the essence of this initiative. An African-American student noted the following. Each day I walk around campus with a slaveholder's name across my chest. Yet her point was not to demand that the name Dickinson be removed from the college or its sweatshirts. Instead, this wise student, she wanted a deeper appreciation for the diversity of our school's past. I must wrestle with the fact that founders like Benjamin Rush and alumni like James Buchanan or past faculty like Thomas Cooper never intended for me to have this education, she observed. For that reason, she knew it was important to share information about the formerly enslaved families who had lived and worked on this campus. And that's what this important work does. It acknowledges and honors those persons, particularly those who were formerly enslaved, whose stories have been forgotten or lost over the years.